Hi guys, it's Elisa here and welcome to the Capsule Wardrobe Series. For in the next five weeks, every Wednesday, I'll be posting a video helping you to create your own handmade capsule wardrobe. And before we dive in into sewing and designing and buying fabrics and all the fun stuff, let's talk about if this lifestyle really is for you and if it's worth for you to invest your time and effort in creating your own handmade capsule wardrobe. Let's start with defining what is a capsule wardrobe and I think Wikipedia can help us with that. The term has come to refer to a collection of clothing that is composed of interchangeable items only to maximize the number of outfits that can be created. The aim is to have an outfit suitable for any occasion without owning excessive items of clothing. This is usually achieved by buying what are considered to be key or staple items and coordinating colors. So the best way to go about it is to try it before you buy it. And what I mean by that is that you, without a doubt, already have some clothes in your wardrobe and you probably have your favorite pieces too. So what I did when I was deciding if this lifestyle is for me or not, I set aside 10 of my most favorite pieces out of my whole wardrobe. I made sure that they are of the same color palette, that they really complement my shape and size, and that those are really pieces that speak to me and speak to the indiv individual that I am. And then for a week or two, I try just to wear those 10 pieces and to see if I'm satisfied with the result of how I feel wearing them day in and day out. Next is important to remember that clothing is just another tool. And what I mean by that is that just like you need tools to perform well at your day job or let's say experience your favorite hobby, you also need, so to speak, tools to be well represented in this world. So if you are a person who has a lot of speaking engagements or you're a public figure or you perform in many seminars or presentations, you might need a set of 20 tools, let's say. But if you work from home, you might need only a set of five tools. So think about clothing in terms of it's a tool. How big of a toolbox do you actually need in your life? And go from there. So if you need a really large toolbox, capsule wardrobe might not be for you. Another thing to remember is that capsule wardrobe is not a trend, it's an actual lifestyle. So before you jump all in, think about aspects of your social life. Being a, a modern dressmaker or seamstress or sewist actually comes with a lot of social aspects like Instagram, sew-alongs, uh, participating in s sort of uh, sewing challenges and sharing your work on Facebook um, and other social medias. So with having a capsule wardrobe that it might actually reduce the amount of social interactions that you're going to have because the amount of sewing that you will need to do will be quite limited. That might make more room for other hobbies or let's say to actually sew things that you will actually wear. But think about a social aspect. If you're not ready to give that up, uh, again, capsule wardrobes might not be for you. Discovering your own style is another side of living the lifestyle of a capsule wardrobe and it might take some time and while it might be a lot of fun, it also could be quite painful. Especially if you have many, many styles, especially if you like what's really, really popular right now. And again, in these terms, think of clothing as a tool. Do you require many tools so that the world would see the message that you're trying to deliver? Or are you okay with one toolbox that really speaks to who you are? Are. From my own experience, capsule wardrobes definitely are a bit more about what's going to be in fashion, not only as of this very moment, but maybe five to ten years from now. And what are those timeless classics that really speak truly to who you are as an individual? And of course, it's worth mentioning that capsule wardrobe is definitely going to save you some time and some money. However, with that, it also might take some joy away. And what I mean by that is a lot of us find joy in buying things. A lot of us find joy in buying things for their hobby, like fabric or sewing notions, sewing patterns, um, participating in sewing challenges, um, buying tickets for sewing uh, retreats and stuff like that. So think about that. Is it is, is that kind of joy that you need on a constant basis or is this something that you can live without? So definitely think about the fact, is capsule wardrobe going to take away the joy of buying from you? 
And to sum it all up, there's really no right or wrong answer. There's really no uh, good or bad decision. Capsule lifestyle is not for everybody, just like minimalism is not for everybody, and there's no fault in any of that. Some people find joy in buying things, some people find joy in having very little things. So whatever really, whatever makes you happy, go with that. And if capsule wardrobe is something that you want to try making and sewing this spring, please join me every Wednesday for next five weeks on this channel as I guide you through on how to create your own handmade capsule wardrobe. And thank you so, so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful for you, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!